Hey everyone, I'm Enrico from John B. Anthony Company. Allen & Heath recently put out a new firmware update for their SQ series mixers, version 1.5 to be precise. There's a ton of new features, both user requested and some you didn't even know that you needed. This was previewed at NAMM 2020 and highly anticipated ever since. We've just updated our SQ, fired it up, so let's check it out. First up, the most requested feature everybody has been asking for, an RTA laid out on the channel EQs. Whether you're using the parametric or graphic on a channel, you now have an RTA on that EQ. So we have a couple adjustments for how our RTA sits over our EQ. First, we have average and peak, and these are gonna control exactly how we see it over our EQ. Next up, we have trim and opacity. This is gonna adjust where it sits and how deep it is on our EQ. And you'll also notice that any prominent EQ is gonna show up in red rather than yellow, so we can quickly go and tune out that peak. Next up, we have our low frequency dampening. This is helpful if you want to get a real world representation of your low end and see how it's actually probably gonna translate once it's out there rather than how it displays on an EQ. From there, we have our source select. Here, we can have it sit on the channel that we're currently working with, or we can have it sit on a fixed channel. When it's sitting on a fixed channel, you can go and get an interaction between two channels that you're trying to work with. If I want to EQ my bass and my kick relationship, I can see the other and make adjustments. Another good example of this is maybe my guitar and vocal relationship. Next up, we have DCA spills. You can now instantly spill across a layer or channel strip. You have two options to do this, and you can do it with soft keys. You can configure a soft key so that it spills a specific DCA or spill on select mode to open any DCA when you want to work with it. This third new feature is great for everybody that wants to record their own shows. The SQ consoles are always running internally at 96K. Now, whether you're recording using the SQ drive or the USB-B port, you can select 48K. This will record up to 32 channels and you can even select which channels you want. With both of these new options, you're not gonna waste any hard drive space. They've also added a USB input and output to our meters page as well. If you need to record all 48 channels on the SQ, I recommend getting the new Dante version 2 card. The next major update is the low and high pass filters on every input and output. For inputs, we have the ability to adjust the slope up to 24 dB using Butterworth filters. For outputs, we now have a great way to filter out the low end from our mains or our monitors using a high pass filter. We can also create an output of just sub content for using the low pass filters on one of our auxes. The next features have been ported over from our Avantis and DLive consoles. On our patch screen, we now have two new features, safe patching and one-to-one -one patching. Safe patching will keep you or someone else from accidentally changing settings on the screen. Simply press patch to start. One-to-one -one allows us to hold our first channel and then use the rotor encoder to select as many channels as we need quickly and in a row. SQ MixPad also received an update we can now have three possible instances connected to a mixer. This will give you the ability to have more than one display if you're by yourself, or another added feature for two people that are mixing together. Allen & Heath has now given us the ability to share our shows to the cloud, so we have another added layer of backup. We also have the ability to do offline and online management now for scenes and libraries. They've also added to Mixpad the ability to control our AMM. Here, we have our overview tab, Next up, we have our input assign, and finally, our setup. There's a ton of additional features that have been added in 1.5, and I've got a link down below if you want to see the full list. If you have any questions or you want to see a specific feature covered in more detail, make sure you leave a comment. Don't forget to like and share as well. If you enjoyed watching, make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell if you want to see more videos on the SQ when they come out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.